Understanding the label in Scotch malt whisky. Well, the first thing that's very obvious is the, the title, the name of the whisky. Being single malts, they come from an individual distillery. In this case, Glengarry, Beaumont, and Ochentoshan. The label will also tell you where that distillery is located, where, what style of malt whisky it is. So here on Glengarry, it says single malt, Highland single malt Scotch whisky. In Beaumont's case, Isla single malt Scotch whisky. And in Ochentoshan, it just says single malt Scotch whisky. It doesn't say, it doesn't tell you it's a lowland. Curiously, in this case, it says the triple distilled Ochentoshan is the only triple distilled um, malt whisky. So it tells you where it's come from, what distillery it's come from, what region it's come from. Um, by law, it has to tell you the volume, the capacity of the bottle. Usually, typically, it's 700 mils, 70 CLs. Um, in some markets, uh, 75 CLs. In the European Union, it has to be 70 CLs now. And it tells you the strength. In this case, 43% by volume. In 43 for Beaumont and indeed 43 for Ochentoshan. 40, 43 are the standard bottling strengths. Um, in some cases, their whiskies are bottled at higher strength, so-called cask strength, although cask strength is not actually defined in law. But where the whisky might be bottled at 58%, 62%, whatever, that is an indication that it has been bottled straight from the cask. It hasn't been reduced down to bottling strength, 40, 43, before being put in, put in the bottle. And the final thing that I would point out is the, um, the bottler. It says, by law, again, it has to say distilled and bottled in Scotland. Um, by law, nowadays, in the new regulations, malt whisky must be bottled in Scotland until this is made law, um, which will be next year sometime. Um, you can bottle a cask of malt scotch whisky as long as it's been meets that definition and that legal definition and you could you can call it scotch even though you bottle it abroad this will no longer be possible so distilled and bottled in scotland and then the final thing is the age statement 18 years 15 years this one doesn't have an age statement this is uh, three wood it's the brand is called uh, that is the age of the youngest component whisky so each of these single malts will be mixtures of a number of casks, maybe six casks, more likely in this case about a hundred casks um, of whiskey that go into this particular batch. Um, but the age, 18, is the youngest cask. So, you I mean, they can put a 25-year-old Beaumont into this one. Um, probably wouldn't, but they, uh, they could do. But they cannot put any cask under 18 if it's bearing an 18-year-old age statement.